This is Jared George with the Red Power Team. Today I'm in a K6130 mid-range combine and I've got a Drago GT6 row hooked up to it. And what I want to do with you guys today is walk through a header height calibration and get our set points one and two set for the season. So something that we like to tell our customers, or at least get them in the habit of, is any time that we're switching between our bean head and our corn head, uh, coming in and making sure that we redo these calibrations. Um, that way we're actually getting the best out of the corn head and out of the, the bean head as we're running through the field. So I'm gonna jump over the Pro 700 and show you guys how we set these up. So what we're gonna do is from our run screen one, we're gonna hit our back tab, and we're gonna go into toolbox. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to go and make sure that my head is set up correctly in the Pro 700. So in the toolbox, I'm going to use my right arrow and I'm going to scroll right until I see my head one and my head two tab. So I'm going to select head one tab and up top I've got my maximum work height. So what we want to make sure is that when we're setting our stop points, our set point one and our set point two, we need to make sure that this cut height is set in between those points. And what that's doing is as we raise and lower our head, that's what's starting and stopping our, our mapping. So we need to make sure that that max work height is set in between our set point one and two. Cutting type we have set to row, and then our header width is set at six rows. Target work width we have set at six rows. And then we have this at 30 inch spacing. We have a six row, 30 inch space corn head. So we're gonna hit the down arrow here. We've got our header alarms at three beeps. And then auto cut width we have set to on. So this you can leave on with the corn head uh, when we are running in soybeans. Uh, we, we like to have this on so it automatically adjusts the width of the, the platform. We're gonna jump to head two. And this is where we verify what we have hooked up here. So we've got our header type set to corn. We've got our corn header style set to rigid. Reel drive we have set at one. This particular corn head is equipped with a reel, a down corn reel. So we have that set to one. We hit the down arrow. So on this page we have our header height control tilt sensitivity. And it's set at 117. Uh, we can make adjustments to these two settings uh, to make the header a little less or more responsive uh, as it's going through the field. We've got header pressure float not installed, um, ride control we have installed, and header lateral tilt we have installed. So with the mid-range combines, we're going to come to our propulsion handle and we're going to hit the header lower button and press and hold that until the header goes all the way down to the ground and continue to hold that for about five seconds after it lowers all the way down. So we're gonna press and hold. The header has gone all the way to the ground and I continue holding for about five seconds. After we've done the header lower, we're gonna press and hold your header raise button. So you're gonna press and hold that and what you're gonna notice is the header is gonna start raising and it's gonna stop about midpoint or a little above midpoint for just a pause. And if you continue holding, it'll raise all the way to the top. Once it comes all the way to the top, we continue holding for about five seconds after it raises all the way to the top. So that's how we perform the header height calibration in the mid-range combine. After we do that, what we wanna do is we wanna check our set points one and two. What we typically recommend is clearing your old set points and resetting your set points one and set point two. And how we do that is we're gonna engage our separator and our feeder house. So once we've engaged our separator and our feeder house, we're gonna raise our header to the full raise position. We're going to reach over to our armrest and we're going to press on set point one and let off. And then we're going to press on set point two and let 
coming off. And so what we've done there is we've raised our header all the way to the top. We pressed set point one, set point two. So we just cleared out our old set points. Now we want to re-record our set point one and set point two. And what we typically have our guys do is as we lower this and we get into the harvest position or where you want to be running your head through the field, that's what we can use as our set point one. And then as we raise our head up on the headlands, that's our set point two. So with our separator and feeder house engaged and we've cleared our prior set points, we're gonna lower our header down to our cut height position. And I'm gonna reach over and I'm gonna press set point one. And now I've just set my cut height position. As I raise my header, I raise it up above my stop cut height position, your max cut height position. And I'm gonna reach over and I'm gonna press my set point two. From this point, after setting my set point one and two, I wanna to come to my propulsion handle and I wanna hit my header resume button. So as I hit my header resume button, I should see my header go down into the set point one position that I just recorded. As I have lowered my head below that max cut height, I see a green arrow pointing down, meaning that I'm below that cut height position. And on the left side, I have my header with a squiggly line underneath that. That lets me know that I'm in, that I've done my header height calibration successfully, and that lateral tilt is gonna be working through the field. As I hit my header resume button to raise it to my set point two, you will notice that I've gone above. My green arrow is now gray, so I'm not mapping anymore. And the squiggly line has went to a flat line underneath my header. And as you toggle back and forth between those, you should see your green arrow and the straight line turn to the squiggly line. So that's how we perform our header height calibrations and get our set points one and two set. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you find these videos helpful. Uh, for more content, make sure and tune in to our Red Power Team YouTube channel and uh, check us out on our website, redpowerteam.com as well. Thanks again.